Hello, welcome to Megger's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will discuss how to remotely control an S1 insulation resistance tester. Let's get started. In order to remote control the unit, we need to turn both rotary switches all the way to the right. When this happens, the beacon will turn red. After we've put both uh, switches in the right position, we can then connect to the instrument, for which we have to choose the proper serial port. If we don't know which serial port we have to use, we can go to the device manager and find there on COM ports which device corresponds with the mega device. COM8, serial port 8 is the one that we're using. We click on OK, and now we're going to select an insulation resistance test. Click on OK and this will um, connect us to the unit. After we are on the page, we can scroll down, click on Readings, then Remote Control. After this is done, the beacon will turn green, which means we can now remotely control the instrument. We can now simply select the type of test that we want to run and click on Start, which will commence the test. Here on the right, we see that when we uh, start a new test, a new recording is um, started. Now I am running a step voltage test. That this one will run for five minutes, so I am going to uh, accelerate the video playback so that uh, we can see a five minute test running in about uh, 30 seconds. At any time during the test, we can stop it by clicking on the stop button down here. On the top right corner, we can see the instrument information such as battery status, model type, test voltage, firmware version, serial number, as well as the status of the test that is running at the moment. We can also run an insulation resistance test for which we select it right here, and then we click on start. Uh, now we are running a 30 seconds uh, insulation resistance test, which remember we can uh, stop at uh, any time. You have just uh, done so. Now we can uh, choose, let's say, a timed insulation resistance test uh, for which we can uh, select how much time do we want the test to run, say 30 or uh, 60 seconds, like uh, we are doing right here. If we run the test for uh, 60 seconds, that's the typical spot uh, test of uh, insulation resistance. Uh, we can run it there and uh, remember that we can see the results on the uh, graph on top. We are again accelerating the test itself. Uh, the test will stop at the 60 seconds mark. For this final test, we will simply select a voltage different than the 5 kV that we have been using so far. Um, we will select 10 kV. We are using an S1 1068 instrument, which has a maximum voltage of uh, 10 kV. We can start the test here, and we can check on the voltmeter on the left that the instrument tries to inject those 10 kV, which is a little bit higher than 5, but it cannot inject all the way to 10 because there is a breakdown detected, which is noted on the top right corner. So we can see here, breakdown detected as a flag. After we have finished with our testing, we can then choose the test that we want to import into PowerDB and click on Save to Form, which will bring those results into PowerDB where we can uh, then look at them or manipulate all the uh, results. This concludes how to remotely control an S1 insulation resistance tester. Visit the Mega YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic or for any support you may need for your electrical testing.